Hey guys, this is Gummy Gold Gamer here, uh, bringing you another moveset guide. Uh, this time with Fluttermane. So, Fluttermane's one of my favorite uh, Paradox Pokemon. It's just such a fun Pokemon to use. Um, it's, it's just really because of stats. Uh, so, a lot of what this Pokemon does gets summarized right here. You can visually see it has no hit points, no defense, right? If it's getting hit by a physical move, most times it's just going to get taken out really easily. Uh, but, 135 on the special attack, 135 on the special defense, 135 on the speed. That is insane. So, this Pokemon's going to be uh, outspeeding most things in this game, outside of like uh, Dragapult, Iron Bundle, Chain Pow, uh, and Electro, right? Um, super, super fast Pokemon, them all now Reg Regiality, and some, some of those new Pokemon that got released. Um, but for the most part, this Pokemon can just kind of find a lot of sweeping potential, especially if you can go plus one using Calm Mind. Um, or if it's running uh, the choice specs item, um, it just finds enough damage, even just at neutral hits, to uh, once shot a lot of Pokemon with Moon Blast. Um, strong Terra types. I really like Terra Electric just because this Pokemon is so weak to steal. Um, and you're going to resist steal with the Electric. Um, and then I think that uh, Thunderbolt is actually just a better coverage move for you with the, the Ghost Fairy typing than using Mystical Fire. Um, even though there is situations I think where Mystical Fire can be better. Um, Terra Fairy is really going to be more of an off offensive typing if you're running Life Orb or Choice Specs or um, even Booster Energy. Um, so sometimes you'll see Terra Fairy uh, have some success. I like Terra Normal um, if you're going up against other Ghost Types, uh, so you can bait a Ghost Type move um, for free um, and set up that turn or just go for an attacking move. Um, and then Terra Fire uh, works similarly to the Electric where you're going to be able to live an attack from a Steel Type Pokemon then probably boost your Mystical Fire if you're going Terra Fairy. Uh, Terra Fire. Uh, we know what Protosynthesis does, right? For uh, Paradox Pokemon, um, it gets uh, like a Life Orb boost uh, to any one of your stats, if that's your highest stat. Or if it's your speed, then it gives you a plus one boost, a uh, 50% boost. Um, and that's if you use the booster energy item or um, you're in the presence of Sun on the Sun Team. Uh, uh, other good items, I think that Fluttermane can be really, really good with a Focus Sash just because you're so weak physically. Um, you, you want to be able to live one physical hit. You can outspeed a lot of Pokemon, just knock them out with two hits. Um, if you can outspeed, hit him with a Moon Blast, you survive a hit with the Focus Sash, and then hit him with the Moon Blast, you can take him out pretty easily there. Um, and then Choice Specs is just going to give you that effective plus one, uh, 50% damage boost in your special attack. Um, which with 135 special attack and with the, that sweeping speed, um, you can just one shot uh, some Pokemon on a good matchup. So that can be really, really solid. Um, you can see here just some examples of Pokemon that I said this is strong against. Usually just uh, special attackers that you're going to be able to outspeed or set up on. Um, and you can set up on a Golden Go if you go Terra Electric or Terra uh, Fire. Um, set up some Calm Mines um, and just take take these Pokemon out. Um, Wu Qian uh, just has a big weakness. Um, and I figured you could probably set up and, and put some pressure to um, take it out. Um, counters is going to be anything with a priority move that's physical, like Sucker Punch, so Chain Pow and King Gambit going to try this Pokemon a lot. Um, if we don't trust Lies this week against a lot of Steel-type Pokemon, um, and then Scizor with that Bullet Punch, if we don't go uh, for defensive Terra-type, that's going to take us out like every time. Um, that's just a really, really solid counter against Fluttermane. Uh, so let's go ahead and hop into Pokemon Showdown um, and take a look at its movesets. Alright, so uh, we can see this in this first moveset. This is one of my favorite movesets for Fluttermane. Uh, we're going with that Terra Electric here. I think Booster Energy is just the best item to use on Fluttermane. Uh, just getting that plus one speed is so nice. Um, it allows you to speed tie any other Fluttermane you're going to run into, whether they're going Scarf or Boost Energy. Um, if they're using booster energy, just take note of that too. You can see that right at, when they switch in. And I know that's one that I forget to check a lot of times when I'm going up against other Paradox Pokemon. Um, especially if you have that matchup against um, Iron Bundle. Um, you don't want to miss out on knowing whether or not they're going to outspeed um, that boost strategy uh, since they're one uh, speed set higher than us um, here. Um, so, Call Mind is such a good move on Fluttermane. If you can get that on a special attacker, whether it's Golden Go um, or, or uh, Iron Bundle if you have to, uh, just any special attacker, but if you can get off a Call Mind or two, um, other Fluttermane too, this is really good at setting up on. Um, you're gonna be able to sweep most teams. Um, Moon Blast just does so much damage uh, naturally if you have to hit neutral with the move. Um, otherwise, you find uh, super effective Thunderbolts with this move set. Uh, Shadow Ball is giving you really good coverage. 
Um, and I just literally, I've had so much success with this moveset. I've gone 3-0 so many times um, and thought I had a really bad matchup against the team. And then this Pokemon just finds a way to sneak in a Combine and just sweep the entire team. So definitely give this uh, moveset a, ch a chance. I know that Mystical Fire is a lot more popular with Terra Fire. Um, and if that's what you want to run, you can do that too. But I just think that Thunderbolt um, and that coverage is just a little bit better in my opinion. Uh, so this next set here, uh, we're going to be using Booster Energy again. Uh, the idea is we're going to go Charm to lower their attack right away if it's a physical attacker. We should be outspeeding most Pokemon because of the Booster Energy. Um, and then if it's a special attacker, we can set up Call Mind to Drain your Kiss to get our health back. Um, we're going to have to find a way to get a Wish in um, when we're setting up Charm. So do, do one Charm. If they do less than half, uh, then go for Wish right away. Uh, so you know you're getting that effective health back. Then you can go for Draining Kiss to top off a little bit or sneak in another charm. Um, if it's a special attacker, same thing. You're going to call mine right away. If they don't do above half, you're getting that wish in. I wouldn't recommend this moveset. It's not the greatest moveset, but I have run into people running similar things than this. Um, and they just kick my butt too. Um, and people aren't really expecting the charm flutter main quite as much. I know it's more prevalent now. Um, but you used to only see like like choice backs or booster energy uh, flutter main that was really offensive special attacker. Um, this is kind of a fun set that actually can work. Um, instead of using wish you, you could definitely go pain split here, and I think that you might have more success with pain split, um, especially if you're going just charm or call mines right away. They should be at full health, um, and then that would allow you to actually get that second um, charm in uh, to make sure you're living a second hit uh, since you're so fast. Or same thing with the Calm Mind, getting an extra Calm Mind did so you can live a second hit uh, depending on the damage um, that you're receiving from those hits. And then just pain split up um, and get back more than half your health. Um, so that that's a pretty solid pretty solid move set. I would definitely try this out. I think that would be a lot of fun. Um, you could have some success with that one. So let's talk about Focus Sash Flutter Main. Um, these are just, this is just an example of a Focus Sash Flut Flutter Main you can do. This is kind of like a support one. Um, it does get access to the taunt, so that's super annoying if they have a lot of Pokemon that like, want to do a lot of stati statusy things, like set up hazards or screens or anything like that, um, or Baton Pass, you can just shut them down with taunt right away. And I think a lot of people don't expect taunt on Flutter Mage because they expect like, oh, it's going to either go, go, go for Calm Mind or just start trying to sweep with powerful special attacking moves. Um, you, I teched in the Calm Mind in case you get a matchup against a special attacker and can set up one or two Calm Minds here. Um, and then Moon Blast is just for a high, high, high base power move. So with the Focus Sash, the idea is if you're outspeeding a lot of Pokemon, uh, you're going to go uh, one for one plus. So you get into Moon Blast because uh, you outspeed, live a hit with the Focus Sash, get another Moon Blast. Then you can land another Moon Blast in the Pokemon that comes in. Or you can go Memento on that Pokemon, just kind of cripple them or taunt them or whatever is going to be the next best move. So this is kind of just a one for one plus Pokemon if you're going with Focus Sash. But it can be really, really good support for your team, um, too. It can be a really good lead option. Um, then we have Toy Specs uh, set. Um, and I'm just going for all damaging moves here. Uh, Terra Fairy, again, just to boost the Moon Blast power um, in most cases, since we're going to be so fast. Um, then we have Shadow Ball. Uh, the power gem's really, really nice. And then I put Psy Shock on here, since we're going to be locked into a moves, just so we can hit Pokemon like Blissey and Chansey and other really, really big special defensive walls. Um, the Psy Shock actually allows us to hit other Flutter Main, uh, which is really nice so that we know if we're speed tying them or we can force a switch on their Flutter Main if they've had booster energy. Um, then we can come in and usually knock them out with the Psy Shock just with the Toy Specs, uh, which is really, really nice for us um, if we have to go into that speed tie. Um, and then the Terra Fairy also allows us to, if we lose the speed tie, the rep full health. Um, live a Shadow Ball, if that's the move they're going for in that Flutter Main, Flutter Main matchup. Um, this one's just like a slow stalling set. Um, the idea here is we have Taunt to shut down any Pokemon that are going to try to set up on us. Pain Split to get our recovery back. Um, Charm again is going to lower their attack. And then uh, to lower their special attack, we're actually going to rely on Mystical Fire for this set. Um, and we're going Terra uh, Fire too, just so that if a Steel type Pokemon comes in, we can just kind of put uh, Terrasalize in their face and shut them down and just take them out with Mystical Fire, which is going to be stabbed for us now. Um, and just going max hit points on the EV spread here. Um, this last set, I think, is kind of kind of along the same lines. Um, I like Charge Beam and certain Pokemon. Um, I think this Pokemon can actually pull it off, kind of. 
Um, and what I mean by that is if you go up against a physical threat and you can charm them a few times right away um, just to bring their attack down, you might be able to get up a Thunder Wave on them, then set up a Confused Ray, and then start just shaking them down with Charge Beam. All these moves are really just trying to set you up so that you can go Terra Electric um, and raise your special attack with Charge Beam so that you're going plus one, plus two, whatever it may be with your really high uh, speed stat and uh, take out some Pokemon. Now, Mono electric offensive typing is not good. This clearly gets walled by ground types. Um, this is kind of just more in essence, kind of just showing what what kind of things Fluttermane could do outside of just traditionally using the booster energy and going for all attacking moves or calm mind uh, or just choice spec set. So I hope this video helped you out a lot. Definitely try out this first one though. This this move set is insane. I've had so much luck using this on the ranked ladder. Um, and um, you really can't go wrong with these stats. Uh, Fluttermane's just such a really good Pokemon. Um, and if I forgot anything, if I forget any really good stats or any good tech that Fluttermane gets, uh, feel free to mention them those uh, down in the comments below. Uh, and I think that'll wrap this up for this, edio, uh, this video. So this is Gaming Cool Gamer out.